If you don't like the topic of this video, go ahead and just mute it. You can even watch it on two times speed because the winter drive in the upper peninsula you're gonna see is gorgeous. All right, YouTubers, we're gonna try to talk louder because again, it's confirmed that this microphone on my GoPro is a piece of junk and it doesn't really work. But we had a little topic we were gonna talk about. Um, I've noticed that many of you have noticed that I turned vegan a while back. I've noticed that because people really aren't into the vegan cooking and, and a lot of people get what being vegan is kind of wrong. Um, for me, I started doing it because at first, my I had a lot of problems with cholesterol and triglycerides and I've been on medicines for a year and I slowly got my diet better and better and I switched to, I started with the meatless Mondays thing and then I switched a little bit more and now I'm predominantly vegan. Like the last video I showed you eating a kudigi, I'm not like a militant vegan and I am not a judgmental vegan. I don't care what you guys do. If you're not interested in it, that's fine. Um, I think the food is so much better, especially when the person who's actually driving right now, because she doesn't trust other people that don't live in this stuff to drive. <laughs> but when she does the cooking, it's fantastic because it's a whole different way of eating. Instead of having a big steak that I slathered in different spices and srirachas, there's a lot of more subtle flavors to it. And it, it can be fantastic. Now, when I'm left to my own devices, I buy pre-made stuff, you know, from the freezer section. And that, to me, that's still a little bit better than eating the pre-made stuff with meat. Again, if you look at the food that we eat in America, all the processed stuff that they shove down our throats, we don't eat very healthy. So I never look at when I make those meals as being healthy just a little bit healthier. So that was my ramble, and now I think it's your turn to tell the good people out there your vegan story. Well, or plant-based story. Yeah, I, for me, vegan is a specific, a specific way of life in which you don't consume animal products, even to the point of using leather or wool or even eating honey and I I don't I choose not to classify myself that way um, because I what I the way I like to say is I eat a plant-based diet about 98 99 percent of the time on occasion I make the choice to sometimes relax what I normally do and I have something with eggs or milk in it, or... Here comes the vegan police! Vegan police! Sorry. Well, you know, there's a channel, there's a YouTube channel I really enjoy. It's a young woman, and she does a lot of, like, shopping hauls and um, batch cooking, and everything she cooks is all plant-based. And somebody noticed that she has started using eggs a little bit and I've seen people in her comments already they've noticed it too and they're turning on her and they're saying you're not vegan anymore I'm unsubscribing and she's like I've never called myself a vegan but if that's what you want to do by all means stop you know don't watch my videos so that's why I just kind of call myself I'm plant-based 98 percent of the time um, I really, really like to cook. So yeah, she's good at it. I am. <laughs> Ooh, look at you. It's not bragging when it's true. <laughs> I really like it, and I think that's that's why my every once in a while I have a recipe I make that's a dud, right? Yeah. Every yeah. once in a while I say, I'm not making this again. Ew. Sure. <laughs> but most of the time I'm pretty happy with what I make, and honestly, when you're not here a lot of times you know what I eat uh, I open up a can of beans and I make a salad and I eat pretty simply but I really like to cook and the fact that you enjoy it so much makes me want to do it more yeah um, but anyway so that's that's how I look at it and also I don't 
I try not to judge people by what they eat. Sure. Well, um, and, and I think the whole vegan thing is like a spectrum. You know what I mean? Sure, it can be. And and if somebody just every now and then decides to have a meatless Monday or whatever, it's, that's fine. It's a start. Yeah. Oh, can I talk about why I did this? No, you're not allowed. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Well, I'm going to do it anyway. Um, <laughs> so, it's kind of a funny story, if I may elaborate a little bit. I dabbled with vegetarianism for a lot of years, and um, I didn't eat... I didn't eat meat from grocery stores. However, uh, my previous life, I lived with somebody that was a hunter, and uh, I should say I was married to somebody that was a hunter, and so I ate wild game because philosophically in my head, I thought like at least these animals got to live their lives and not be stuck in a pen eating things that you know wasn't their natural diet and then get met with a scary end. Um, so that's how I logically worked through that in my head. But eventually I got to the point where I didn't eat that anymore. Um, and it's because of one person that I met through Facebook and there was a story in the news locally about a dog that was totally blind that got adopted by a man. And I, I started, you know, following what he said and he posted a lot of memes. And so um, what I'll do is the two that meant the most to me, I'm going to send to you so you can put them in the video. No. You will. Yeah, I will. <laughs> anyway. It was like a switch flipped in my head. Basically, it's like we don't eat dogs and dolphins and horses, something to that effect. But basically, why are some things called pets and why are some things called meat? And it was like that idea just kind of got into my head and made so much sense to me because I love my dog so much. And I the thought of people eating dogs is just abhorrent to me but cows are sweet animals why you know chickens have personalities like people can have chickens for pets and it's just it just to me I just couldn't do it anymore um but it it got to the point where I did and we're having GoPro issues let's see if it keeps Shocking. recording <laughs> GoPro suck Sorry, I, I get on this topic and I get long-winded. But anyway, suffice it to say, I saw a video of a mother cow who had gotten her calf taken away. And the calf was in a truck. And she was following the truck, running, screaming. The baby was crying. And that was like... Not, see, now I don't want to... Now I don't... <laughs> now I'm thinking about that video and I want to cry. And so then um, maybe I don't want to have anything dairy. But anyway, for me it's an emotional thing. But like you, I also had a pretty good reaction with my cholesterol once I stopped eating animal products. Yeah, I'm off all my meds. And similar to you, I... I go through stages where I watched a lot of documentaries and right. obviously people are going to say they're biased and be that as you may think, those things, it's it's emotional to see it is. how animals are, are treated and I found that the food taste is just as good. If I was eating just rice cakes and cardboard, I couldn't do it either. But I learned that the food can taste as good and in many cases better. So that's my idea about plant-based or vegan. And, you know, when you start talking diets, everyone's going to argue this is better for you, that's better for you. I think the science is out there and it's pretty much settled that a plant-based and a limited meat-based, you know, is more healthy for human beings. Yeah, really, the only saturated fat we have these days is occasionally when we have something that I put coconut milk in because sure. coconut products are pretty saturated. Nowhere near like uh, a steak would be. Right. And, and and if these people have been following me for a while, right. they you know I was eating sure. a pound, a pound and a half of steaks a day. So I've made, over the last three years, I've made a pretty big change. And just so some of you already might think, I started this change on my own 
and I've just been fortunate to find somebody who can actually cook the food better than I can. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't like I was pressured into doing anything. No. I'm not in a cult and I'm not being <laughs> fed against my will. I was already there. <laughs> well, thank you for saying that because sometimes I wonder if people think that, you know, that it's my fault that the London broils aren't coming on. <laughs> you know, that's been your choice totally. Matter of fact, uh, sometimes I'm like, are you going to get that? Are you going to get that? Although once in a while I'll make a, I'll make a little comment about eating meat or whatever. But honestly, I, I had, I had one London broil last summer when we yeah, were camping yeah. and and if I have another one at one day, I'm not going to jump off a bridge and think myself a terrible human being. Big police! Oh, I just feel better. Pretty... Sorry. I think we got going a little long. You got anything else? Hopefully, um... if you hated this, you just <laughs> muted it and looked at the pretty snow. <laughs> I mean, I this is something that I can talk about a lot because I've been an animal walker since I've been walking on my two feet. Um, an animal walker? An animal, an animal lover, I meant to say. Oh, um, look at that. I've, I've been, uh, since I could walk, I gravitated to animals. Like my mother was always worried I was going to get my face bit off by dogs because I couldn't keep my face away from the dog's face. So going vegan is a, is an understandable move or plant-based. For me, yes. Yeah, for a lot of people. For a lot of people, sure. Some people, some people do it for health. Some people do it for animals. And, and some do it for both. And some do it for both, and that's how I would classify myself. Me too. Okay, YouTubers, that was our thoughts on veganism. If you hate it, you can tell us in the comments that you hate it. We if won't judge you, you understand, and and again, I judge no one. As best I can, I judge no one. As long as you're nice to people, I don't have any reason to judge you. So, that's it for now. As we said in the video, and if you followed along, I'm an animal lover, and it just became very difficult for me to eat animals. I'm missing my cake every day. I hope you have a great and wonderful day. And here's some cool vegan food. And if you've never tried it, try a vegan restaurant where a professional cooks it. You'll enjoy it.